Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rodeja. I am working as Technical Architect at Adobe. And here I present the third question of the weekly contest CEO 4. Find closest nodes to given two nodes. Here in this question, we are given a directed graph of n nodes. And the IDs of these nodes start from 0, goes up till n minus 1. Each node can have at most one outgoing edge. So the out degree of each node can be at max 1. We are also given two nodes, node n1 and node n2. What we need to do, we need to return the index of that particular node with, through which both the nodes n1 and n2 are reachable such that the maximum distance from n1 to that node and from n2 to, to that node is minimized. Also the second constraint that question says if there are multiple answers, return the node with smallest integer and if no possible answer exists we have to return minus 1 in those cases. So pretty simple to understand. Here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it via the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Find closest nodes to two given nodes, lead code 2359. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are cited below. Now let's get back to the example. I have taken the same one that was specified in the equation, which is 0 is pointing to 2, 2 points to 3 and 1 also points to 2. In total we have 4 nodes and in the equation node 1 is given as the first node and node 2 is given at the 0th node. So in short we need to identify the lowest common ancestor or the merging point which is closest to both these nodes 0 and 1. So the naive approach that comes to everybody's mind is to do a DFS operation on both these nodes, the first node and the second node one by one. So if we perform the DFS operation, what do we get? One is pointing to two and we are, we are also given that the out degree of each node is only one. So it becomes a really simple question. So what we can do, we can perform the DFS operation. One is pointing to two, two is pointing to three. Similarly, we can also do a DFS operation for starting from zero. So zero points to two and two points to three. Now what do we need to identify? We need to identify the lowest common ancestor that exists in these two paths. Which one that would be? That would be second one. And it's really simple, pretty straightforward. How can we algorithmize it up? So in the first go, we will perform the DFS operation starting from the first node and we calculate the distance of each and every node that exists in my graph with respect to the node one. So let's do that. I have created an array that will store this value. And by default, we can initialize the distances value as minus one for all the nodes that we have. And since we are starting from one, so let's update the distance of one from one to zero. So this gets updated to zero. Let's proceed ahead in the DFS fashion. The distance of two from one happens to be one in it. So let's update it to plus one instead of minus one. And the distance of three from one happens to be two units. So let's update it to plus two. And with this, we have successfully iterated in the DFS manner till the leaf node and the distance array has appropriately been set. Let's do the same things starting from the 0th node. So this gets updated to 0, this gets updated to minus 1, this gets updated to 1 and this gets updated to 2. Now what we will do, we will analyze the distances across both these arrays and we will go in an iterative manner starting from the 0th index up till all the indexes that we have. So let's see what values are stored. So here you see that starting from one node, 0 is not reachable. As a result of it, 0th index can never be the answer. Let's move on to the next index. The next index is 1. So starting from the 0th node, 1 is not reachable because the value here is minus 1. As a result of which, 1 can never be the answer. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have is node 2. So let's check the distances value. Here the value is 1. Here also the value is 1. So one possibility of answer happens to be 2. Since both of them are reachable and we will select the maximum distance value across these two values. So what is the maximum distance value across 1 and 1? It is 1. So one possibility of answer happens to be node 2 and it is at a maximum distance of 1 unit. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have is 3. 3 is also reachable and since uh, 3 is reachable from both these nodes and the distances value is 2 in, and in both the cases the maximum value of 2 comma 2 comes out to be 2. This becomes the second possibility of answer. So node 3 is reachable across both these nodes 1 and 0 at a distance of 2 and as per the question we have to minimize these up. 
so which one are you going to select you will select this one because the distance is lower with this we have successfully iterated over the entire algorithm and we will return uh, the index the second index as the final output to conclude it up let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same step that i have just talked here the first thing that i've done is to count the number of nodes that i have and moving ahead i have created a distance one array i have created a distance two array initialize both these arrays as minus one and as i talked in the presentation distance of node one from node one is of zero units this is what i have done here similarly at line number 13 as well so using this while loop i am iterating in a dfs fashion because in the question it was stated that at max the out degree can only be one so this is a simpler way of writing the dfs algorithm because at max there will be one outbound degree and once we are done with this while loop we have successfully set the distances value across the entire graph starting from node one similarly here as well and finally i have here created an answer variable initialize the minimum value to uh, integer dot max value and this answer variable will actually store the final index so we start iterating from the zeroth index going up till n and with each iteration we'll be incrementing the pointer i if the distance of distance one from the ith index is equal to minus one or distance two from the ith index happens to be minus one that means these nodes are not reachable either from node one or node two we abort it so we just skip look out for more values otherwise we compare the minimum value with the maximum of distance one at i comma distance two at i and in case this condition is met we reset our answer variable to ith index and we update the minimum to maximum of these two in the end we simply return the answer variable that stores the final index so let's try this up accepted with this we have successfully submitted the solution and let's wrap up for the day i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye